Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how I make a sleeping baby diaper cake with a tutu. Alright, um, first you're going to need um, an outfit, long sleeve outfit. Well, what I'm using is a long sleeve outfit, but you can use um, a full outfit with footies or a something that will cover the arms and the legs. Um, I have this cute outfit here had this for a while so I thought I'd um, put it to some use. So I'm using, I'm making a separate tutu but this was the only outfit that I had left that had long sleeve shirt and pants that matched so I'll be covering this up somehow tucking it in. Um, you won't see this with the uh, actual tool tutu that I'm making. I also have a bib with a matching zebra pattern and a pink star a hat, a pair of socks, and a pink pacifier. You will need 22, about 21, 22 diapers. Uh, and I'm going to start. Oh, and three rubber bands um, like this and four little tiny hair rubber bands. Okay, so there's going to be three parts. The first part is going to have eight diapers. The second part, I might, it's been a while since I've done this, so I might adjust it as I go. Um, but yeah, let me, I'll just get started. So I roll my diapers, the Cascade or Boutique version, there's different names for it, because I want my diapers to still be able to be used. So I'm not going to open it up and, um, roll it that way. So everything's going to be cascaded. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have my six inch pan. So I, I cascade it just the way you see all the way I make my diaper cakes. All, my, uh, all of my other diaper cakes. Just put my eight diapers in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and make sure they're even or relatively spaced out. Wrap the rubber band around. And here is your, the butt. Now for the body, the upper body. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I want to use six, but um, we'll see. I might have to do 10 for the bottom. Uh, so wrap it around just like you did for the bottom part. And here is the body, upper body and bottom. Like I said, I might put 10 in this. I'll see how it goes. Cause I might want it to be a little, um, the butt to be a little bit higher. 
uh, all right. So we've got that. And for the head, well, I'm gonna put aside four diapers for the arms and legs. Uh, I'm gonna need a few more diapers. All right, and so for the head, I've got three diapers. Same thing. They're small, so I don't need the pan. I'm just gonna wrap it around. All right, there's the head, the body, and the, the head and the body. For the legs and arms, take each individual diaper. Do not open them up. I mean, you can, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You can if you want to, but I'm not gonna open it up. I'm gonna start at the uh, center or bottom of the diaper and just roll. All right, got the arms and the legs. So pretty much the diaper baby before the clothes is gonna, when it, the clothes are on, you're gonna have it, it's gonna kind of look like this. Like a, you know, how a sleeping baby looks. All right, so I'll put those aside. So I'm, I'm going to put the upper body in first. And then I'm going to put the bottom in. Just make it like an oval ish. Button it up so they don't fall. Well, they're not going to fall out because I'm going to put the pants over it, but just for a complete look. Here are the pants. And so their diapers, they're gonna be the, uh, they're gonna be sticking out. There's gonna be some, you know, lumps. Just smooth it out. Take each roll diaper and stick it in the leg. Don't stick it all the way in because you're gonna take a sock and put it on. So I'm not a crazy person, so I'm not gonna do diaper sock, diaper, diaper sock. I gotta do diaper, diaper sock, sock. All right. I mean, I'm not that crazy. Stick your sock over your diaper, just a little bit, not the whole way in. Do the same thing for the other diaper. Make sure it's oriented right. And then tuck it in just a tad. That's how it will look, but we're not gonna do that yet because we still have to put the tutu on. All right, so we put the legs in. Now we're gonna put the arms in. Just place it through. You don't push it all the way to um, where the shoulder is just in enough that you no longer see the diaper sticking up because it's gonna, um, you want it to bend. So unfortunately this shirt is, isn't a full long sleeve. It's like um, a three fourth length. So what I will do is stick it out just a little bit more so I can bend it better, all right? I have a hat here. This hat, I did not have a matching hat, but I'm going to glue a flower over this so you can't see their the cow. All 
Right now I'm going to take my bib. I'm thinking if I should put it on the back because bibs don't go on the back. And there's no point in putting it on the front because you can't see it. Ah, I'm gonna put it on the back. So I'm gonna put my bib back in the neck part. It's gonna be like her cape, she's a princess. It is a crown. Tuck that in. Take the hat and the head. Place the hat over one side of the diaper, the head. It should kind of look like that, like don't, there should be like a little triangle here. The bottom should go all the way over the back and the top should just go over the front slightly. Okay. You can actually turn it a little bit so it's like the side, the side flower. This little hole is where you'll stick your pacifier. And that's how that will go. Now I'm going to put my tutu on. All right, so I've got my tutu. I'm gonna put the front of the tutu on the back of the baby so we can see the, um, the bow. So gently lift the baby up. I'm gonna fold the skirt of the pants in. Now I can put my tutu back on. Fluff your tutu out so it looks natural and presentable. And adjust the body. Place your bib up a little bit so you can't see where the neck is. And you've got your tutu baby. Oh, tutu baby. Diaper baby wearing a tutu. So now I'm gonna, um. Oh, I forgot to put the arms in. Bend the arms so it looks like, you know, babies have their hands up to their own. Just make it look more natural. I'm going to put it on a board so I can show you how you can transport it. You know, if you want it to be a centerpiece or a gift, I'm going to decorate a little a base board on cardboard and sit it on it um, so you can see how to, you know, safely transport it. All right, so... I've got a square board here. This is 16 by 16. It's the largest one I have. I've got a blanket. I was looking for a matching blanket, purple or black or silver, but I don't have any more of those. So this is the closest I've got. So I'm just going to wrap it around it. And tape down the back. Get our face and move the head out the way. Yep. You may have to adjust the center so it's a little tighter so the pacifier would stick and then probably stick it the top of the pacifier under the head a little bit so it'll help hold. So slide the diaper baby on. Make sure your tutu is still um, in place and not crumpled up. Slide it up. It helps to slide it by the bottom so it doesn't get messed up. Just fluff it out, make it look nice, fix the feet. Yep. 
and I put it diagonal because um like I said this is the biggest one I have and it kind of works out the way the baby is shaped so tuck the um, feet under a little bit so everything can fit under the board fluff your tutu out and place the head on well not on but put the head in place and here is the completed diaper baby I'm gonna put it in um cut a long piece of cellophane clear cellophane and wrap it up all right I'm gonna cut my large piece of cellophane place it in the center of course, I gotta measure it. Um, I really don't like working with this. I wish I had a tool. Um, I do have a tool. But no, this is, I'm just gonna stick with this. safely transport it you can display it like this or you can take it out um, whatever your preference is but there you have it I think next video I want to make a standing diaper baby tutorial um, I've seen a lot of questions on those I haven't seen how to um, any many tutorial I don't think I've seen any tutorials on how to do it so I think I will do a tutorial for you guys um, I will show you a picture of my standing diaper baby um, so you can kind of see what I can do. Um, maybe you, you'll want to watch the video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.